hey foodies welcome back again to my channel if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do so because i'm about to bring you another delicious recipe today we are making plantain chips and i'm going to be using some ripe plantains i'm going to be using about four fingers of plantains and first of all i've already washed my plantains now i'm just going to be chopping the ends and then the top of the plantain so that i'll be able to have the whole fruit in place so now I'm just going to scrape the peels of the plantains and then we'll move to the next step so use this technique that I use I find it easier to remove the peels with this method but you can use your own method if you don't feel comfortable with this method to explain how to take off the peels you first have to make an incision on a side of the peel of the plantain and then just gently scrape it off with your fingers or you can use a spoon or you can use your knife but I feel comfortable using my fingers so I gently scrape it away from the peels and then it comes off easily so you want to be careful because you are using a knife at this point we don't want to injure yourself if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do so if you're a returning subscriber I see you thank you for your support and the love now let's get to the next part of this video so I'm just going to be using this potato peeler slash mincer slash grater. So this is what I'll be using to slice my plantains. So in my video where I did how to make your frozen vegetables, I told you guys that I also use this gadget to make some plantain chips. And this is how I use to make my plantain chips. So I'm just going to make this thin slices. The, it, it actually gets it so thin guys I got this too from Melcom so anytime you're around Melcom in Ghana you can try to look for one of these it comes in different sizes but I wanted a more mobile one that's what I got this size so this is what I used for my plantain chips and you can see how thin this is it is so thin so it means we are going to have a very good bunch of crispy plantain chips now it is time for us to have our plantains fried so i'm using some vegetable oil now i have already let this heat up on a maximum heat so i'm going to be frying them um that is the plantains just a few pieces of the plantain in the oil guys please do not overcrowd your pot as it will make your chips get soggy but when you take a minimum amount of plantain into the oil and then allow it to fry gently you are going to get yourself a crispy bunch of well fried plantains so the reason why i am stirring occasionally is to prevent them from sticking together because of the starch the plantains contains so as you are frying these please stir them occasionally and then once you see that your plantain chips are getting done they begin to look kind of transparent on the sides so when it starts to look transparent on the sides you know your chips are ready to be cooled off drained and then enjoyed so here are my plantain chips they are done as you can see they look transparent on the sides so i'm just going to do my second batch and this is just going to be an extra tip as you can see i'm just trying to fluff it out to prevent them from sticking together this recipe is actually a Ghanaian snack that is very common here in Ghana so you can have this at your barbecue you can have this on a normal day you're having chit chat with your friends you can have this when you're not feeling like cooking and it is just amazing now the last thing for me to do is to take out my plantain chips drain them in some paper towel and then season them with some salt some people like a bit of peppery flavor so you can just sprinkle just a pinch of chili flakes or then chili powder onto it and then you are done thank you so much for watching this video i hope you love this recipe please subscribe to join the family and i will see you in my next one bye